One of the coolest things you can do through programming is to read, write, or append data or information to a file in your computer. Once you know how to do this, you can easily store data from your program to a file, and then you can retrieve that data when you reboot the program or restart the program at a later date. This is a foundational concept for beginner programmers towards understanding data management, data file formats, and databases. Here are some quick examples of when reading, writing, and appending to a file comes in handy. First, to save program output, like a banking program that saves account balances and transaction logs to a file. To save configuration settings that your program can save to and then read to when it starts. To log the flow of your program for developers for debugging. And to import and export data for processing, for example to a CSV file or a JSON file. And if you're curious to know how to read a CSV file in C, you can check out this video. In this video, you'll learn how C programs interact with files on your computer, and then how to open and close these files in C, and then lastly, how to read, write, and append to these files in C. So let's get started. By the way, if you're in the early stages of your programming journey, I've got a special gift for you. It's called my 30 day beginner coding challenge. And it's a guide that will take you from no coding experience to building your first four projects. And the best part is it's free. It's a free gift to you. In this coding challenge, I guide you in 30 days to build four programming projects and I give you some tutorials that are in C. But of course, these projects are really generic and really beginner friendly. And so you can actually code them in different programming languages. You can still benefit from this guide because you can just take the principles that are in my challenge and then apply them to your programming language. You can find the challenge in the link in the description. And if you download it and pay attention to what it says, you'll definitely learn some fundamental programming concepts that will give you a good foundation to your software development journey. Okay, so we're gonna start off with an MTC file, file io.c, and then we're gonna start off by including these two libraries. The stdio.h library, which is just the standard input output library. We need this library to use the functions that are responsible for opening the file and closing the files, and also reading and writing data. And then we're also going to include this stdlib.h library. And this is so that we can use the exit function when we fail to open or close a file. Okay, so here's the main function where our program will start. And then I have a our file declared here. So this variable or this struct is declared here. And this is how we're going to interact with our file in our computer. So this our file is going to point to that file. And so first we need to open the file. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to use this fopen function, which comes from this library here. And we're going to open this file, ourfile.txt. And the way that we're going to interact with this file is primarily through writing. So we have this double here for write. And so every time we interact with this our file, we're going to be writing to this file here. And something to note about this ourfile.txt. So this ourfile.txt is going to appear in the same directory as file.io.c. So wherever you have file.io.c, for example, here it's under my documents, Henrik M. Dev GitHub file.io folder. So this file.io.c is located in this file.io directory or folder. And so our file.txt is also going to be in that file.io folder as well. And you can actually see it here in the Explorer in Visual Studio Code. So it's going to appear here, this our file.txt. And so we're going to open the file first. And then if it doesn't work, we're going to exit the program. But if it does work, then we're going to start writing to that pro to that file, and then we have to close the program or we have to close that file. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so these lines of code here are just in case the program can't open the file, then it's going to return null. So this fopen function is going to return null, and then if that's true, then we're going to print this statement here and then we're going to exit the program but if it works then we're going to continue over here and then we're going to write to our file.txt so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to use fprintf to write to this our file.txt and then we're going to use our file as the first argument in this function call so we're going to put our file here and then whatever whatever sentence or phrase that we want to put in our file.txt we can put it right here so let's try doing something like hello world and then let's try to write this to our file. And then we're gonna close the file. So we're gonna use F close and then our file. And then this is how we close the file. And then we're going to return zero. And this is how we exit the program. Actually, let's add a 
printf here saying that we're done writing. Okay, so now let's run this. Okay, so it says done writing to file. So that means that we got down to this part and we exited the program. And so now you can see here in our explorer that our file.txt was created. So we created it or we opened it here and then we wrote hello world to it and then we closed the file. So let's look at this and see what's inside. And there you go, so it says hello world. All right, now let's try appending to this our file.txt. And a beginner mistake would be to copy this line of code here and mistakenly think, oh, I'm just gonna write to it. So let's just copy this code right here and then I can reopen it. So now I'm going to reopen it here and then I can write to it. I'm gonna write a different sentence. So let's copy this part here. Oh, let's copy the close as well. So we're gonna put these all together. Okay, so now say you're a beginner, you think you can just use W, and then you're gonna write, my name's Henrik, and then you're gonna expect that after this hello world line here, it's gonna say, my name is Henrik. So let's, let's run this and see what happens. Okay, so now we're done writing to the file, let's check it out. Okay, so now it says, my name is Henrik. So it, it didn't get to write the hello world part. So if you're a beginner, like I keep saying over and over again, if you if you look at this, you think, oh, I'm writing hello world, then I close it, and then I open it again, and then I'm going to write my name is Henrik. So we should see both sentences there, but obviously you don't see both sentences. And that's because when you do this W here, you're basically just overwriting the whole file with whatever you want. But if you want to append to the file, you have to use A. You can't use W. You have to use A for append. So let's rerun this one. Okay, done writing to file. And then our file.txt. Okay, so now it has both sentences. It has hello world and then my name is Henrik. And that's because we, we have this A here. So after it's closed, when we reopen it and we want to append to it, then we have to use the A here. Okay, so we've covered writing and appending. Now let's do reading. So let's try to read our file.txt. Let's try to read this file and get the file io.c program to just reprint these lines here. Read, reprint the contents of the our file.txt. So we can just copy something like this, this part here for opening. And instead of using A, if we're going to just read from the file, what letter do you think we're gonna use here? So. Yes, you're correct. We're going to use R. So R is for read. So now we're opening the file for reading, and then we're going to read the lines from the file. So the way we do that is using fgets. Okay, so we're going to use a while loop to read all of the lines from this R file.txt, and we're going to use that with fgets. So fgets is going to read each line of this file, and when it gets to the end of this file, it's going to return null. And so that's why we have this check here to see if it's null, because if it is null, then this is no longer gonna be true and it's gonna exit the while loop. And then we're gonna be, we're gonna get to this line here and then we're gonna say done reading from file. So we need a buffer to be able to read the lines from this file. So we need to declare a buffer over here. So let's declare a short buffer. Let's say, okay, let's use a buffer that could go as long as 100 characters. So as long as the lines here are each less than 100 characters long, then we're good. So we're just gonna make that assumption for now. We're gonna use this buffer over here to read the, the lines from this rfile.txt. And then as we read it with fgets, we're just going to print the buffer. So we're gonna print the line that's read from our file.txt. Oh, actually we need to close the file. So we need to close the file after we were done reading it. So f close here. So always remember if you open a file, then you need to at some point close the file. So let's run this one. Okay, there you go. So reading from file and then hello world, my name is Hendrik, done reading from file. And so it's actually able to read all of the lines from this rfile.txt. Okay, just to prove to you that this output is really coming from rfile.txt and it's not coming from our program at all, let's just delete the part of the code where we're writing and appending to the file. 
So let's remove all of that lines of code. So now this program is only reading. So we're just going to read from our file.txt and then we're just going to print what we read. And so if we run this again, so we get the same output. So we're reading from file, hello world, my name is Henrik. And I can actually change this and say, my name is Henrik M and then run this program again. And there you go, it, say, it says Henrik M. We can change this to say, hello YouTube. My name is Henrik M. Welcome to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. So because I have a while loop, I'm gonna read every line of this file. So this should still work. So we're gonna come here, we're gonna read from the file, and then we're going to print every line from the file. And so let's run this. And there you go, reading from file. Hello YouTube, my name is Henrik M. Welcome to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And then <laughs> done reading from the file. And so there you go. Okay, so just to summarize, I covered how to write to a file. So you have to open it and then check if we are able to open it or not. And then we, oh, we write to it using fprintf and then we close. So that's how you write to the file. If you want to append to the file, you use A instead of the W. The same, same idea, open, close, and then use fprintf to write whatever sentence you want to that file. And then reading here, you same process, you open, you close, but in between we're going to read from the file and we have to use a while loop because we don't know how many lines are in there and we want to read each line from the file and then we print, or you don't even have to print it, but your fgets is storing all of the lines in this rfile.txt inside the buffer. And so from this point, usually what I would do in my programs is I would parse the buffer here, do something with the information that we got there and then that's how you can build a program that can actually do something interesting. Then I just have a printf here that just says that we're done reading the file so that we know that this program ran successfully. Last thing I want to mention is that when we use fopen and then we just specify the, the file name here, you have to make sure that our file.txt is, is right here because if our file.txt is not here, like say we delete this our file.txt, And then say we want to read from our file.txt. Let's remove the writing and appending. Now it's going to try to open this our file.txt, but it doesn't exist inside the directory. So what's going to happen is it's going to hit this case. It's going to say that there is an error. So let's run this. And so there you go. It says error opening file. And that's because the file does not exist. So we can actually recreate the file here, our file.txt. Let's put in some sentence there. And then fileio.c. Let's run this. Now it should work because our file.txt actually exists. So we'll run this one. And then there you go. That's it for the video. And then smiley face, done reading from file. All right, so there you go. Nice and simple. How to open a file, close a file, read and write and append to that file. Really simple stuff, but it's really powerful stuff at the same time. And I want to hear from you too. How are you going to use this in your programs? Do you have some ideas on how you're going to use the files in your computer, in your programs? I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, like I mentioned earlier, if you're just starting off in your programming journey and you don't know where to start, you can download my 30 day beginner coding challenge. And it's a 30 day guide where I teach you how to build those four beginner programming projects. It's really beginner friendly and I go step by step on how to build each one and then go through the tutorials that you need to build each one. So download that in the link in the description. All right, that's it for this week's video. I hope it really helped you out in reading, writing and appending files in C to your files in your computer. And if it did help you out, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to help you out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.